All right, so this is what we're going to make today. Let's get into it. Start by making a new actor, blueprint class. We'll just name that ground spawner. Open that up, add a cube. And that's, that's pretty bright. I'm just going to change that material. Stretch it out. 10 by 10 should be fine. All right, now we're going to slide it forward so it's on the edge there. Then we're going to add an arrow. Slide that up to the other edge. And go back in and add a box collision. And then we're going to size this up. It doesn't really matter what size it is as long as it fits across the platform on the width. Should be good there. I'm gonna rename that to the spawn trigger. Then duplicate that and make a delete trigger. Slide that out. Doesn't really matter where it long as it's out past the platform. Go into the event graph. Delete these. We're going on to the begin play. Get player character. Cast to third person character. Promote that to a variable so we could use it later. Then we're going to scroll down and go on begin overlap for both. Separate those out a little bit. Alright, drag out of this, go equal. And then drag your player. Put this in a branch. And then off of true, we're going to spawn actor from class. Select your ground spawner. And get the arrow out and get the world transform. And that'll be the transform for your actor. And the instigator. Just get player character. Go down to the other one, go equal. Get your character again, put that into another branch, and off of true we're just going to destroy actor. Compile, save, close that. Alright, now I'm just going to delete this wall and place one of these actors into the world. And then we're going to go and save that, hit play, test it out. Spawned another one, and it's deleting the previous one. 